DNA contained in his fingernails is encased in hard keratin, which protects it from degradation. In theory, it should be good to use for scalar transmission forever, and indeed some practitioners never change their specimens. Saliva can also be used. Cut a strip of blank paper, blotting paper is best, about two inches long and one inch wide. Place the top third of this in your mouth for a minute, or until it becomes saturated with saliva. Then allow it to air dry for about 10 to 20 minutes before placing it into your remote. This should last for about three days. Buccal skin cells can also be used. This is how police do large scale DNA testing after certain serious crimes. Use a strip of paper about the same size as before and rub the top third gently but firmly against the inside of your cheek for a moment. If it becomes wet, allow it to air dry at just the same as before. This lasts for about four to five days. Blood is an excellent source of DNA. For this you need a pack of lancets designed for diabetics to safely test blood sugar levels. These are inexpensive and available from all pharmacies. Wash your hands thoroughly first, then follow the directions on the pack. Smear the droplet of blood on the top one third of a strip of paper. Allow to air dry for a few moments. The DNA keeps in good condition for about five to six days. Hair itself does not contain DNA, but the hair root or bulb does. This keeps in good condition for about a week, and so you can use that instead.